Hello everyone, welcome to Edukemi. This is a video in your PYQ series. I would be taking geography and the environment related question. The question that I bring forth today is the species related question. You might have observed that in the environmental portion majority of the questions are species related they can ask about elephant tiger the wild ass as well as lion tail macaque so there has been many question on the species for example the question this was asked in 2013 about the habitat of the lion tail macaque so a questions which are species specific generally relate to the habitat the threats the nature as in what is the nature, is it uh, shy, it is social, what is the gestation period, So the, and also the status in your IUCN list. So this, this is what is asked in your species related question. The reason that I took this question of 2013 was, this species, lion tail macaque has been in the news for quite some time now. So, we will look at this species in a bit detail. The question that was asked in UPSC in 2013 was about the habitat, where it is found. Here, you would need the knowledge of mapping as well as the elimination technique. So, we already know that this species of the lion tail macaque is found in the Western Ghat. And Western Ghat does not stretch to Andhra Pradesh, that is the mapping knowledge that we have. So, if we eliminate 4, you are left with 2 choices, that is 1, 2 and 3 and 2 only. Herein, we will have the uh, logic that where do the Western Ghat actually spans. So, Western Ghat spans in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu as well as Kerala, 6 states where the western guard spreads. So, this is found in the western guard, the answer here would be 1, 2 and 3. If you want to remember the species related details, you should use the technique of flashcard. What do we mean by the technique of flashcard? When you see the image of the species, then you remember the details of the species in a better manner. So, with this, I am showing you two images. One is that of the lion tail macaque and the other is of the bonnet macaque. So, look at both these images and then we will try to remember the details for lion tail macaque. Now, if I talk about lion tail macaque, the rationale for taking this question was, this has been in news and what has been the news? That this has been declared, this species has been declared endangered for the sixth time as per the IUCN red list. So, this is endangered, the status is endangered. If you have to see the nature of the species, it is found in the western Ghat. It is a shy species, it is a frugivorous species. Frugivorous means it generally eats the fruits. Where it is found in the western Ghats? In the upper canopies. In the upper canopies of the western Ghat, this species is found. And the threat to the species is the fragmentation of the habitat. So, as it leaves in the top upper canopies, the deforestation, the fragmentation of the forest is one of the major threat. Why did I show you the image of the bonnet macaque? I showed you the image of the bonnet macaque. Why? Because the introduction of the bonnet macaque in the habitat of the lion tail macaque has found, has created a new problem. The new problem is that this species of lion tail macaque is suffering from the gastrointestinal parasite. It is being affected by a parasite and the health is getting affected. So, UPSC can ask the question like, what is the nature of the species, the shy nature, whether the introduction of bonnet macaque is helping the species or it's a threat to the species, what are the threat to the species, what is the IUCN status of the species. So, be prepared with these kind of information for many species which are there in your newspaper. Taking another question from the UPSC, the question, this question is a simple and an easy question. It's like within the biological communities, some species, they have the ability or they can affect the large number of other species. And what do we call such species? So, example here, obviously it cannot be threatened. We will be confused between these three as the name suggests. What is a keystone? 
a keystone is that stone in the building which actually determines the stability of the building it is the most important stone which it defines the stability of the building so from this element you can also understand what would be the nature of the keystone species it is that species that affect a large number of other species many times in your environment related things environment related terms try to understand the logic of that term once you understand the logic of that term it will be easy for you to remember for example if you talk about the umbrella species an umbrella species is a species also which affects a large number of the other species and it can live in a variety of habitat as you can figure out from an umbrella so this way try to link it the common meaning that you listen in your everyday life link that to the environment terms and you will learn it in a better manner now if i have to understand the meaning of allopatric species and sympatric species i can look at this so the allopatric species and the sympatric species the allopatric species as you can see it here look at this figure and look at this figure here there are lot many green canopies but because there is a separation between the land okay there is a separation of this land there is difference in the species the species has become different because they have been separated because of a geographical separation so it is called as allopatric speciation what is speciation speciation means giving right to the new species or the new variety so the speciation that is occurring because of the geographical separation is called as the allopatric separation whereas sympatric sympatric that means at the same place where the speciation is occurring within the two groups despite living in the same area as you can see this is the same area there has been no geographic separation yet a new species have come so this is sympatric speciation and this figure is the allopatric speciation also understand some other terms which are important for your examination so for example you can list you can see this senatal species so s stands for senatal and s stands for sensitive and you can remember the example frog so senatal species is a sensitive indicator of the environmental problem any environmental problem affects these species at a larger extent so they are sensitive species they are sensitive indicators of the environmental problems amphibians frogs toads salamander are some of the examples of the senatal species now coming on to the keystone species we've already seen keystone is the that stone which actually determines the stability of the building so keystone species is that that determines the ability of the large number of other species to survive so large number of other species survive when this keystone species is surviving so and if this keystone species become extinct then there would be a snowballing or the cascading effect that will lead to extinctions of the other species let's understand this via an example for example if the bees get extinct then there would be no pollination of flowers and that would affect the biodiversity on a very large scale as pointed by albert einstein if the honey bees goes extinct we will not live more than 4 years on earth such Uh, in a uh, keystone species can also be insects so insects they also are the keystone species planktons okay so in the grazing food chain the planktons on them survives the fishes on them survive the other aquatic organisms so plankton which is the base of the food chain is also a keystone species so this is from my side for the environment related question stay tuned if you like the video please click like and share and subscribe thank you